What's up guys, this is Static Wave and I want to bring you guys a pretty good Samsung build for update 41. I've been testing this build for a while. Um, I think it's really good. It has damage, has sustain, has survivability, and um, it has tankiness. So you can use it anywhere. BG, Dueling, Thirdo, um, Imperial City, whatever. So let's get into the sets. First, we have uh, Raksha. This is our sustain set. Um, it's basically a mini wretched. So that allows you to run the sugar skull food, uh, this one. So you get more max health, you get more max stam and max mag. And combined with the, the new passive for Sork, that gives you 10% extra max mag and stam. That's really useful. And then we have Essence Thief on the front bar. So Essence Thief is one of my go-to sets. It gives me a lot of sustain, a lot of stam sustain, and uh, damage. That's ten percent damage to all your all your damage sources. So that's really strong. And on a sword, it's really easy to grab this. You just you have a lot of speed. You have streak. You just run in, grab it, get the buff, and then you're good. And then on the back bar, I have Rallying Cry. This is pretty much a standard set for any uh, solo PvP. -er. Gives you a lot of crit, uh, some weapon damage, and it gives you pretty decent amount of um, crit resist. So that's useful against knife blades or gankers. So always run this if you're doing solo, or if you're uh, if nobody in your group has uh, rallying cry. So run this. And then for the mythic, I have deadly with speed. You can run uh, Sea Serpent Coil or Markin, but for Sork this patch, I think Death Dealer's Speed is uh, best in slot because it gives you uh, health, mag, and stand. And since we're doing a, a health heal build, you need this. You really need this. And for the traits, you can see these. I just farmed it. I just farmed it, so I don't have the right traits for these uh, two pieces. But it should be in pen for everything except for the chest. The chest is reinforced. And then Triune for three pieces of the jewelries. I run Triune because I'm trying to sack uh, max health. And I don't really want to go healthy. healthy. Healthy is nice, but I need... I mean, this is more stat dense, basically. And you can do, in, you can do Infuse too, but um, I don't really need Infuse that much. I already do. I already do. I already do good damage, so that's fine by me. And then for the mall, I have infuse. Um, I don't run sharp because for my specific build, I'm using crystal weapon as uh, my main spammable, and then executioner. And the infuse is the infuse is really good because it's gonna proc the enchant every two point five seconds, so that's gonna help my uh, DPS DPS a lot. Sharpen is fine too, but I don't really find myself need needing it often, unless like I fight a really tanky build. But I mean, if you run into a tanky build, sharpen is not gonna help you anyways, in my opinion. And then depending on the back bar, uh, all the traits, I mean, all the enchants on the pieces, uh, the the body pieces should be tri stat. I don't have I don't have it for these right now, but they should be tri stat for everything. And then for the jewelries, I have uh, one Magicka Glyph, and then two uh, Weapon Damage Glyphs. For the Maul, I have an Oblivion en Enchant. Um, I prefer this because it always crits. So like you can see right here, like even though it's Oblivion Damage, it always crits. Like at least 60% of the time. So that's really good. That's gonna help you proc search a lot more, and it also goes through block. So that's gonna help you execute people, or it goes through shields. So that's gonna help you uh, ex execute short uh, source dispatch. So that's good. But you can also do like shock enchant. I think which is I think that's the next best thing for this specific build, shock or oblivion, and then a berserker enchant on the back bar uh, for the extra damage. For the food, we're running a sugar skull, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can run the, the regen food, but I don't think it's needed, especially if you have Raksha. For the uh, the pots, I you have to run this. 
essence of spell crit. That's gonna give you major prophecy, which you don't have. And even though you don't have the the stam re, uh, sustain from the pot, you already have pl plenty. Like I have essence deep, so that's gonna give me 4k stam every 10 seconds. Then my stam fully buff, that my stam regen fully buff is around uh, 1.5k. And you also count Dark Deal, which is another 24, 204, 40 every t uh, every second, and and then also the the burst sustained from uh, from Dark Deal too. So you have a lot of a lot of stamps to sustain. That's what I'm saying. Everything into max health. We're trying to stack max health. Um, our damage is still good. Like you can see already, I have 29k uh, stam base not not buff fully buff is around 32k and then fully buff weapon damage is almost 5.3k 109% crit damage 14.5k uh, pen and then uh, on the front bar we have let me see 33% crit rate back bar 36% pretty good we're in the shadow and we're fam 3. And uh, for the skills, Hurricane, Ward, of course, we're running a shield build. You can switch between uh, Bound Armaments or Sur uh, Curse, whichever you, li you like. I prefer this because sometimes I run into people that just cleanse off the Curse, which uh, I don't like. So I, I prefer this for my playstyle. Crystal weapon, this is your main spammable. And then executioner. And uh, Dawnbreaker for the ulti ultimate. Back bar you have Shriek, Dark Deal, Vigor, Elemental Susceptibility, and then Surge. And undo for the uh, Mind of Protection. CP, Duelist Rebuff, Fighting Finesse, Deadly Aim, Focus Mending. You can drop this for uh, Ironclad or Master at Arms, whichever you want. And then for this, you have Pain's Refuge, Sustain My Suffering, Survival Instincts, and Bastion. So that is the basically the build. So I'm gonna do a quick build here so you can see how it performs. The, the rotation should be uh, should be straightforward. So let's see if he. He accepts. Accept cool. There we go. Okay, so first you gotta do all your buffs, right? Proc the rallying cry. It should be popping right now. Okay, there we go. And you do the crystal weapon. And then use use bound elements whenever possible. Whenever you have four stacks, I'm lagging right now, so uh, yeah, that thing is not good. But anyways, haha, <laughs> I am lagging. <laughs> okay, back. My opponent is also on a shield build, HP shield build, and he's in, uh, pretty sure he's in a prop build, but you can see I'm doing pretty good damage. See, 4k. 4k for a build with just crystal weapon, uh, bound armaments, and oblivion uh, enchant, that's pretty good. And tankiness is really nice too. So yeah, that's the build, and um, hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.